In English, there are two ways to form sentences. You can use the active voice or the passive voice. And uh, you know, you're probably more comfortable making sentences in the active. Um, but let's, let's talk about the passive a little bit. Now, when you use the passive, the focus of the sentence goes from the subject to the object. So the subject is, you know, what is a subject? Well, the sentence is about the subject, right? So when you make an active sentence, usually the subject is first in English, and the sentence is about the subject. So when you're making a passive sentence, you're changing the focus of the sentence. You're not focusing on the subject, you're focusing on the object. So let's look at an active sentence. Someone stole my computer. Okay, now this is active. Someone stole my computer. The focus here is on the subject, someone. Probably we would use the passive voice to change the focus to my computer. So my computer was stolen. Now, it, previously in, in, in unit one, you studied that passive, we always have be and a past participle, right? So my computer was stolen. This is the passive in the past tense. Okay, so when we make a passive sentence, we focus on the object. Now, for this video, I'm going to explain, well, now, well, what do we call the subject, right? Well, in a passive sentence, basically, my computer was stolen, we have removed the subject, right? So in a passive sentence, the subject, someone or somebody, we call this the agent, the agent. Okay, now why do we use the passive? Well, there are three main reasons to use the passive. Okay, the first reason is the agent is not important. Okay, let's look at some examples. The store was closed when I went. Okay, the store was closed. By who? Who closed the door, or excuse me, closed the store is not important. I don't care. The store was closed when I went. I can't use the elevator because it is being repaired, okay? Who is repairing the elevator? It's not important, okay? I couldn't buy any tickets for the concert because it was sold out, okay? Who sold out the concert is not important, okay? So the first reason to use the passive is the agent is not important. The second reason is the agent, sometimes we don't know the agent. So the agent is not known, okay? So this happens a lot, you know, we use passive sentences when bad things happen to you and you don't know who did the bad thing. So example, the verb steal. Well, usually we don't know who does the action. So example, his bicycle was stolen, right? We don't know who stole the bicycle. So we would say his bicycle was stolen, okay? My living room window was broken when I got home yesterday. It was broken. I don't know who broke my window. That's, that's a problem. And uh, my bag, my bag has been taken. Okay, who has taken my bag? I don't know, but my bag has been taken. So the first reason is, you know, the agent is not important. And then the second reason, the agent is not known. And the, the last reason to use the passive is it's clear, right? The agent is not needed because it's clear, right? And, and sometimes this is because of the verb, okay? Uh, when I'm teaching class, I always use this example. The verb arrest, okay? An example, the criminal was arrested in front of the station, okay? The verb arrest can only be done by the police. If, if you are not the police, you can't arrest somebody, right? So if I say the verb arrest, of course the agent is the police. So usually we don't say in English, oh, the police arrested the criminal. No, right? We would say the criminal was arrested, okay? Romeo and Juliet was written hundreds of years ago. By who? Of course, everybody knows Shakespeare 
wrote Romeo and Juliet. The, the agent is not necessary here. And the subway is used quite a bit, a lot, in this city. By who? By people, right? Of course it, it's by people. So we use the passive to focus on the object. And why do we do that? Because the agent is, uh, it's not important. The agent is not known. Or sometimes it's clear, the agent is clear. It's not necessary to say. So if you'd like to practice this more, click on the link in the video.